Hello, I'm Al. And I'm Kevin. And today we're going to unbox the Black Magic Speed Editor. The speed editor is really important. Lithium so. batteries because it's Bluetooth as well as USB C. Yes. And we're just going to open it up down here. He's finding here we go. Let's see what's inside here. Oh. There's an invoice. That's a lot of crunchy. There's a lot of crunchy stuff. <laughs> and Resolve comes with a free speed editor. Make sure when you order it though, that you order both. Can I see you the can cooking? order just Resolve and okay. you can order just it's the speed editor. Cooking. So make sure you get your order right to take advantage of this amazing offer. This is such great value. And here we go. And this is the popcorn. Here comes the speed editor. This, that's the really amazing speed editor. On, this on your one. finger. Yeah. Right, let's get inside of it. This is the most amazing value because for the cost of the studio license, which remember is for life, you get this speed editor. And the reason I'm so keen on it is this, the jog wheel. So let's open this up. It's got a nice heavy feel to it. Yeah. Here's your jog wheel for all sorts of applications. And then inside some documentation and USB-C cable for power. But it is Bluetooth if you want to run it that way. There's um, one USB-C connection on the back. That's all it needs. Everything else is sealed. Uh, like I say, it's got a really nice, heavy, solid feel to it. You can hear when I put it down, it's got a nice clunk to it. This is gonna be a great addition to my setup. Let's plug it in. Okay, and here we are. I've got it installed, very easy to install. Just plug it in. It's USB-C, so I started off using it USB-C, but I haven't got that many USB-C ports. So I'm now using a USB-C to USB-3 adapter into the same hub that I'm using for my tangent panels. And it works fine, so it's not too power hungry. You can also connect Bluetooth, but I prefer to be hardwired. So very easy to connect. Load up Resolve 17 and instantly it starts working. I've been using it for about a week and I've been cutting the Colorist Mixer um, videos. It's great. Show, show them a bit of a jog there. Should just move the jog wheel around a bit. So give it a bit of a turn. There we go. This is the jog wheel right now. Um, we can go into scroll mode, which is a little bit faster. And there's a shuttle as well, if you've got a bigger project, but we don't, we're not doing that. So there's no doubt about it in my mind that it's great value and uh, really nicely made. The buttons have a really good solid feel to them. Um, and it's, it's just a joy to, to work with really. My only complaint is that it works on every page. You can use the shuttle, jog and scroll function on the color page, the edit page, uh, the delivery page, um, as does mark in. So mark in, mark out on the delivery page, perfect. And uh, there's a couple of little bonuses on the color page. So for example, if I want to match this to, um, let's say an interior, you can use the jog wheel as your gallery wipe, but you have to turn it on some other way. So Aaron, would you like to just show them the jog wheel now? And what that's doing now is he's wiping it across the picture. It's got a nice, very smooth, very, very sensitive um, adjustment. But you can't turn play still on and off from the speed editor. So I've got mine here on the um, on, on Stream Deck and that works fine. You can have it on a control panel, of course, but you really want it close to the speed editor. So the Stream Deck actually makes this fantastic. I think I'd be a bit lost without the Stream Deck. It's a bit disappointing in the functionality on anything except the cut page. For example, down here at the bottom, it says cut, dissolve, and smooth cut. You'd think that would be a very straightforward thing to have on the edit page, but no. What it does is it sets a preset for, uh, for edits in the cut page. It doesn't do anything in the edit page. Uh, similarly, I'm doing Zoom sessions with multicam and mostly I'm in the edit page and it doesn't work. So 
you can use the sync bin in the cut page, fantastic. Everything works fantastic in the cut page, but even the multicam doesn't work in the edit page. Uh, it would be nice, I think it would be nice if this turned into memories in the color page but it doesn't. Other people have suggested you could use it as printer lights in the cut page, in the color page, but it doesn't. Um, and you can't hack it. I've tried to hack it. I've seen other people try to hack it. You can't even switch your resolve shortcuts. It won't accept anything other than the hard coding that's already in there. Will Blackmagic choose to add extra functionality later? Let's hope so. Uh, it makes perfect sense because you've got all these buttons. It's got a great feel. It would be a fantastic extension to, say, the Blackmagic mini panels. And that's it, really. Does it work? Absolutely. Is it good value for money? Absolutely. Do I like working with it, even in the color page? Absolutely, I do. Uh, it flies on the cut page, don't get me wrong. On the cut page, it's absolutely magic. You can, you can work really, really fast. In fact, I didn't use the cut page much before. Uh, with this, it's just fantastic, I, I really like it. But once you get to the point where you need to use the edit page, it starts to become just a jog wheel, really. Um, there's a few extra things in here. In the color page, for example, we can go full screen and back again, we can add markers. So to sum up, great value, great piece of kit, really nice feel, very useful, whether you've got black magic panels or tangents as I have, uh, it, it's fantastic. Just that one hesitation that if you're expecting too much of it, you're gonna be disappointed, okay? So don't over expect, buy it for the jog wheel and you'll be happy, absolutely happy. See you at the next one. See you next time. Okay.